I got the impression that uh, she can still get the word out about diseases or something. Like, she's the only reason why any of Nurgle's poisons can be counteracted. Yeah, the whole, like, uh, she uh, brings forth the antidotes or antibodies and things. Yeah, sadly, I'm, I'm not overly familiar with the exact name of the Eldar gods themselves, because they can be a bit long and wordy. I think this was Isha or Isis and one of those, you know, Mesopotamian, uh, Egyptian influence things. <laughs> yeah, like, like I, know, I know Kane, because Kane is easy enough to remember, because he's a big pissed off asshole. Awesome. But then, like, uh, the, the Harlequin god, I think starts with like a CH. Mm. Getting sidetracked while being bombed to hell. Really? It's just like that. You get shot, you die, you continue. Yeah, I think actually Brickfist managed to die in mid flight there, which was kind of a pain. They some of, some of the enemy placements in this particular map are extremely like assholeish. Like uh, the the auto cannon they have placed in this uh, this particular little building here, very very annoying. Because you basically you can either use strategy. I won't say it's it's good strategy to actually stealth uh, spookums up here to chuck some grenades into it, or you can just jam your face into it and hope the problem gets solved. Well, we certainly know which one is the more orcish tactic. Uh, strategy. <laughs> yeah. Stealth and... I'm pretty sure orcs uh, appreciate any usage of stealth and they don't really hate it. I remember the fa the first man to encounter orc commandos were exec was executed for his obvious lies. Because the fact that the idea of orcs being sneaky was heresy. It's heresy. Yeah. They were, they were always thought to be like very simple minded heathens, not you know, these complex entities. Which which is both true and false. I mean you can you can still have a complexity about you even if you're brutish. Just like what they say about you septics, eh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you don't you got in cockney, eh? No, I'm not. We don't go to the Bowery. We don't, you know, have a row with uh, some chums down at the pub. <laughs> well, it's... but yeah, I use use some uh, editing magic there just because that was uh, that was more or less just a little side objective to get rid of a rather annoying portion of the level where they would constantly send these uh, bombing runs. Uh, Valkyries at you like every 30 seconds. I love them. Not, not. Oh, sorry? Oh, is it good? I love the proliferation of my people's mythology in completely unrelated cases. I, uh, like, uh, I think there was an American motorcycle by Harley Davidson called a Valkyrie, and I'm like, I don't think somebody wants to be riding on that. <laughs> Precisely. I mean, Singer for the Dead. You know, it's uh, a bit premature, isn't it? Get taken to Valhalla on the new Valkyrie. <laughs> like, uh, so it's a death trap. It would be a pretty good name for good. a hearse, though, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, uh, the, the Valkyrie runs themselves aren't too damaging. It's just the, the constant knockback can be kind of troublesome. Uh, to, to actually speak about something damaging is uh, these very special Lehman Russes. They might not seem different, but they have uh, a special ability that is that. Fuck me. That, yeah, um, those are actually demolisher volleys, which uh, demolisher cannons are normally placed onto larger vehicles like uh, the Bane Blade has a demolisher cannon. Uh, for some reason, though, those two Lehman Russes have uh, demolisher cannons. Don't really know why, because they're the only ones. And uh, outside of just really being devastating uh, for very short periods of time, they're they're kind of laughable otherwise. Because as you can see, they they died in about ten seconds. Well, with the Imperium, which has the whole you know everyone modifies everything, and you know they never throw anything away. 
So those two tanks could just be, you know, the remnants of perhaps another Imperial unit on the planet, or maybe just someone found them lying in a shed somewhere and said, Praise the Emperor! I took them. Maybe, but but the, the Demolisher can actually has a very... It, it's actually a very snub-nosed small barrel. So it's it's very noticeable. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's just a bug or something in the game. It just seems weird. But actually... That is the end of the mission. I do apologize for the, the dialogue here that's about to be cut off, but for some reason the end of the stage here just started to, to chug all to hell, so I figured I would just go ahead and skip it. And Let's just say evil occurred and, you know, bad shit happened. But I, I do want to thank Deceitful Penguin for joining me yet again. You're welcome, mate. I, I mean, thank and, uh, you, man. We'll see you next time on Dawn of War.